Guys, am I a bad friend? I think I might be because we are finally just now getting around to looking at the Mini Arian, a knife that was designed by my friend Chris over at Cerberus Knives. Kristen Ortiz has made this a very, very good design, and I feel bad for have never having never put one in my pocket until today. So with that out of the way, let's turn this around, take a look at it from above, because I really do like this knife. It's the first time I would like the Mini and the full size. Well, guys, like I said in the intro, we are looking at the Mini Arian. Now, this is not a new knife, uh, and I can explain to you why this is the first you've seen it on my channel. And that's 100% because I like the full-size Arian, and I did not think I would like this. But I was ever, ever so wrong. So we're going to take a look at it. I, I really wish I had not slept on this one. Um, we're going to take a good close look at this Mini Arian. It's first day in pockets. Uh, I pulled it out this morning when I got up and realized they're doing a bunch of construction next door and I wasn't going to be able to film. And so I threw it in my pocket about 7 o'clock this morning. It's currently about 5.30 p.m. because they've stopped and I'm filming. So let's do what we always do. We're going to do size comparison because, like I say, well, that's just how we do. First knife is going to be... The CJRB Lago button lock. You can see this is not a huge knife. This is not a big knife at all. Um, pretty good size comparison here. So there you go. There's your first one. Your next knife is going to be the Oaks Works Osprey by Eric Oaks. Uh, also a nice, good sized gentleman's folder. You can see they're coming in just about one for one. Pivot point to point, pivot to pivot. It's pretty much about the same. So, and as always, your final knife for comparison is going to be the Chris Reeves Sabenza. You can see that this large 21 is a good bit larger than this mini Arian. Now, I didn't think it was going to be that much smaller, but when I got it, I was kind of surprised by how much smaller it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out of the way and talk about this knife. Guys, what's the two most important things in the kitchen? It's your coffee. Coffee brand coffee and your kitchen knives, doll strong knives, two of my favorite affiliate links. Go check them out down below. Coffee brand coffee is five percent off if you use my coupon code Crazy Sharp, all caps, Crazy Sharp, or just use the link. Guys, back to the knives. So now, like I said, typically if I like the full size version of the knife, I'm not going to like the mini. Very rarely do I like both versions. I like both versions of this, and to tell you the truth, as has happened a few times. I think I like the mini better than the full size. So this is a S35VN and titanium reverse flick only folding knife. This thing is really, really good, well-sized. The action on it is amazing. Now, I will say I don't think I should really be that surprised because I love the MAFB which is a even smaller version of this basic same knife um, that is a fixed blade. And I'm, I, I can honestly say, I'm, I don't know why I didn't think I would like this. I almost passed on doing a video about this because I didn't figure I would like the mini. Um, but Jared sent it and I was like, you know what? I may as well do it. So I threw it in my pocket and I am happily, happily impressed that I did. The micro milling on this is gorgeous. Let's look at the blade first. So you've got a very, very nice modified spear point, drop point, however you want to look at it. It's kind of a modified blade. It's it's a drop point, but it also has kind of that spear, uh, that, that spear point blade look to it as well. Really nice, sharp edge on it. As I was saying, this knife comes down to a very, very sharp point and extremely well ground edge, as we can see. Um, now, I will say this does happen because from what you guys can't see, uh, I 100% am filming this through the viewfinder of my camera. So it makes it awkward and sometimes I do cut myself. Not to worry, I have band-aids. Um, like I said, this thing is super comfortable in hand. Great, great action. It's not fall shut, but it's a very, very light blade and just the slightest coaxing will shake at home. Overall look of this knife is awesome. You've got really good micro milling. Let's zoom in on it. 
super good micro milling on that that gives you just the right amount of textured feel on this. It it, it feels really good. Uh, I like a micro mill. Oop, we went too far. There we go. I, I like micro milling better than say a blast or something like that to give you some tactile. I think it's more attractive and it's more comfortable. Um, like I said, super useful blade, nice piercing tip, super good edge on S35VN. Artisan does a very good job with their S35VN steel. It holds an edge very well. Overall profile, this knife is not too bad. It is very nice and small in pocket. It is really similar to a couple of other smaller knives that I have, but it's got a definite definite really nice blade shape the fact that they tapered this the way they did um which is exactly like it is on the fixed blade you've got a really robust thick blade stock that comes down and is super thin behind the edge now it's not quite as thin as the fixed blade this one in s90 but make sure i'm in the sheath i stabbed myself with this one the other day um but it is very adequate for anything you're going to do. Jimping on it is in a good place, but we'll talk about it a little bit more later. There is no flipper tab, so you don't have to worry about the profile for a pocket pecker. You've got a spot here, which looks like it was meant for it to have a flipper so that you could get up on it. But I will tell you, that gives you a little bit of area here that is as comfortable as the jimping. I get about three, three and a quarter, maybe three and a half on this uh, finger length, but it doesn't feel out of place. It doesn't feel too short. Pocket clip is a dream and the tension on it so far today has been great. I've used this a few times today throughout the day. I had some packages come. I had to cut some cardboard down and things like that, but it hasn't had a huge test. So this is first day in pockets. So, um, take that as you would. Let's go ahead and we will take a quick look at the couple of little bad things I've noticed about this knife, which are minimal. Before we get into bad stuff, I just wanted to mention, I love the fact that they do this. This is one of the knives that once again has all the options for everyone. You can have a lanyard, but you don't have to have the ugly hole. So now let's talk about the bad stuff about this knife. All right, let's talk about the bad stuff and they are absolutely minimal. Uh, while the pocket clip is comfortable in hand and the tension's not too bad, it's another one of those ones that has that very strong point and it's in a position that's going to bring up something I'm about to say as well. The access to the lock bar isn't horrible, but I wish there was just a little bit wider area. I can still get to it. It's not bad because they did scallop that out, but on a smaller knife, it does feel minimal. Uh, and then there is a little bit of sharpness right on that very, very corner right there. Not bad, definitely had worse knives in it, um, or def definitely had worse knives in that, you know, in that area where they were very sharp, not bad on this. Um, and the fact that it's not got any other means to deploy. Um, I like the fact that it has an aperture and it's really good at it, but aperture only for a lot of people, I don't think is going to be absolute the best. Um, maybe a small flipper tab. This knife would do well with the kickstart if they could get ax, if they could get permission to use the kickstart or kickstop, the kickstop, which is basically the disappearing uh, flipper tab, I think would be great on this knife. And then the final thing, this is a functional thing. This is the only thing on the knife that really does absolutely bother me. This is kind of abrupt. And this is another one of those knives that going into pocket, if you've got thicker pants on, is going to catch a little bit here and not want to go all the way up in. And in track pants, uh, I have a pair of track pants that have a pretty thick seam at the top. It caught on that and kind of pulled at the top of my pants. So I don't, I'm not a fan of that. And then final thing is the jimping soft. The jimping is soft. It's in a good position. It's not horrible. Like it is somewhat functional, but it could definitely have done to be a little bit sharper. You can see how rounded that jimping is, which means it just doesn't catch the way you want. Now, if you push down good and hard, it would work. And I imagine if you were wearing gloves that it, that might also help with the purchase you get on those. But all in all, I'm not a big fan of the jimping, but this thing is great. It's great. It's already bitten me once today, uh, first day in carry. 
Um, so I'm pretty happy with this knife all in all. I, I'm friends with Chris over at Cerberus Knives. Um, and I didn't think that, I, like I said, typically if I like the full size, I'm not a fan of the mini and vice versa. Usually if I like the mini version of something, I'm not going to like the large version. Uh, but in this case, I love them both. I think actually though, I do still like this one more. So that's it guys, not a big thing. First day in pockets. It is honestly the first I've carried one of these and I am happily impressed with it. It is a very, very good little knife. So. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. Like I said, you can't go wrong with this knife. This is an amazing little knife. And as you can see, it's very sharp because it bit me. And it bit me good right at the quick. It's it's That's going to be a tender. That finger's going to be tender for a while. So yeah, Christian, I am sorry I never got around to this. But I do love the fixed blade. I love the full size. I don't know why I didn't think I would like this one. So guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure that you've got notifications for that bell set to all and make sure you've got notifications turned on your device or you will not get notified of everything I'm putting up. I do have to apologize just to let you guys know I have to take one live feed out of the mix for a little bit. The neighbors are doing a lot of renovation and the fact is I have got to rearrange my shooting schedule and just taking one live feed out gives me one night where I can just film all afternoon and into the late evening. So it's just going to make my life a little easier. We'll see how long that takes. And I will have a hiatus. I have the, the, the circus is coming to my house because they're going to uh, termite tent the house. So as I say all the time, guys, there's a ton of affiliate links. It's like self-sponsorship. Go use my affiliate links. If you want to buy my merchandise, it's over at Ember Shirt Co. Use the coupon code Crazy Sharp to save yourself 10%. And if you want to get into my, my membership, it's tier-based, bunch of different benefits, but premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series on YouTube. And I do giveaways on the Gilded server that all of my paying members have access to. So guys, there you go. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.